And welcome to the initial show of House of Hoop. I'm your host, Tony House, and along with House Edge Media, the U Sports Media gurus, I'm here to talk some hoops. Really excited. Uh, we're going to bring in all the top newsmakers, whether it's local here in Ottawa, Canada, from around the world. We just want to bring uh, all the top players, all the top coaches, and again, as I said, top people making some big news in the world of hoops. So, uh, hey, Pleased to be joined. There's no bigger weekend right here in Ottawa with the Final Four, the Wilson Cup, OUA, the top four teams. We've got the University of Ottawa GGs, ranked number two, hosting this great event coming up uh, this Friday and Saturday. Apparently all sold out, so it's a place to be if you're a Hoop fan right here in Ottawa. The GGs hosting uh, the number one Carleton University Ravens while well, they're playing uh, the Ryerson uh, Rams in the second part at 8 o'clock. And the Ottawa UGGs, they're going to host the University of Windsor Lancers in the first game, 6 o'clock, right there at Montpetit Hall. Can't wait. And on the line, I know this is going to be one of the major stories right here. Uh, a guy who is going to do some major damage this weekend and hopes to lead his team to possibly a national championship. Johnny Berhane joins us. Johnny, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. I just want to bring people up to speed with your story. What a great story. Uh, you're a real inspiration because I know you were a pretty good high school player having run the high school all-star game, but, man, uh, you kind of flew under the radar. Uh, talk about just coming out of high school. And uh, did you feel a little bit ignored and slighted when uh, the recruiting trails really wasn't uh, really a popular guy, let's just say? I, I, I didn't feel disrespected. I mean, I knew I still probably had a long way to go in terms of being one of the top players or highly recruited but I mean I never lacked motivation through my five years uh in university or even while I was getting recruited I mean I kind of just always had a little chip I was always hungry to kind of just prove to myself more importantly and like the people that were around me that believed that I could do it were just I mean the support was so high that I really thought I had a chance of whether it was playing university or even after this year hopefully having some pro aspirations. Well, exactly, and having just uh, scored a uh, well, big milestone, scoring 2,000 points, uh, what a great, uh, you know, great career so far. Uh, how much motivation was it? And, and actually, but who, who ended up uh, recruiting you uh, out of high school? Um, there was a little bit of interest out east from UPI, UNB. Um, I remember we were going to go down to offset around Windsor, so Windsor and Western kind of spoke to me, but it was nothing serious enough for me to, really consider and at the time you Ottawa had really spoken to me and showed me interest and said that they thought I could do some things so I kind of really took that to heart and thought I could thought I could have a successful career here and as you said you know tons of motivation here you definitely do play with a chip on your shoulder uh, is it always one of those things where you wanted to kind of prove the doubters um to a certain extent I mean you kind of hear what people have to say about your game but I mean you're always going to be your hardest critic. And I mean, I've been pretty honest with myself over the past five years and stuff that I needed to improve on. I still think I have some ways to go, but I mean, I've always been pretty honest in terms of getting better and kind of just not wanting other people to exploit my weaknesses for the most part. Yeah, and you're coming, as I said, your career is unfortunately coming down to a close, but a lot more, you know, a lot of exciting things coming down the pipe. As you begin to reflect and maybe look back, even just now, heading into the Wilson Cup Final Four, what are some of your top memories to date, and, and, and what will you miss most? Ah, uh, man, I think it's good. I, I think my, I, my teammates, like, just even being with them, especially because you see who's with you when you have some tough losses and some tough moments down the stretch a couple of years ago, whether it was losing in the national semifinals, those are the guys that kind of help you up and work with you in the summer, work on your game with you and never really doubted you and believe in you. I mean, I really owe my teammates and the people around me since day one that have really helped me. And those are people I'll probably never forget. But I mean, even winning a Wilson cup last year, just showed how far our team's gone. I feel like our culture is definitely heading in the right direction. And I mean, I feel like the program is going to be in good hands for the next couple of years or whatever, however far long, coaching the players take it forward but I'm not worried about how they're going to do next year that's for sure no I just we'll, we'll talk a little bit about the upcoming weekend but I just wanted to ask you if, if someone asked a teammate a coach or a fan kind of one word to describe you what would you actually hope it would be or like it to be <laughs> um I think I got heart I think I have some heart I mean I'm not going to stop playing I'm not going to think we're ever out of it i mean we've had some improbable comebacks in the past and we've had some deficits but i mean i don't want to ever be 
just talked about a win or a loss. I want to be able to just know that I'm able to just give my all and share my knowledge and share some of my experiences with my teammates so then they can learn and be the best players they could be too. Yeah, well, no, you won't get any heat from me. I think that's a great word, Hart. Uh, uh, you, you definitely uh, emulate that. And uh, as I said, let's talk about this coming weekend. It's a, it's a huge weekend. You've earned the right to, uh, you know, to host it. And I think that's, uh, you know, really there's no excuses on you guys because you're at home, uh, obviously used to the rims. You're going to have, a, you know, a huge fan following. Uh, let's talk about uh, what it's going to take to come out and, and win this Wilson Cup. Uh, what do you have to do? Uh, I mean, that was, that's been one of our goals from the beginning of the year. Once you kind of knew that this year was a different format and anyone could host the Final Four, it's kind of just been one of the things on our on our checklist to make sure that we could host in front of our family and friends. And it was good to get that. But I mean, now that it's the top four teams in the conference and maybe arguably in the country, it's been such a battle this con- in the OUA this year that I mean, we're going to try to do our best and we're confident. But we know that any of these teams have a chance to win on any night. No, you're right, and and where they're ranked right now, I mean, they literally are. You've got the top five teams coming into town, and uh, every exactly. every game is going to be a, a battle for sure. I think everybody selfishly here, everyone would obviously love to see two more two more games between uh, yourself and the Carlton Ravens. But let's uh, yeah. let's jump ahead. Obviously, a very intense rivalry. Uh, talk about these games between Carlton, because in all honesty, you've been uh, you know a bit of a Raven killer, hitting some big clutch shots, but Talk about the, the added sort of uh, rivalry there is between Carlton and Ottawa. Um, we're definitely not best friends. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, I mean, their reputation speaks for itself. They, they've, they've been the top of the not top of the class for so long that you kind of just want to make sure that you give your, t- your, give your team or your, your players the best chance to compete with them. And, I mean, we've definitely stepped up our game in the past couple of years and being close to it, I mean, you, you get happy that you're close to them or get happy that you, you've seen some success in the past, but you kind of want to get over that hump and try to get two wins in a row or get a big win when it matters. And I feel like that's the direction our team's heading in. And I mean, that's just, I guess it, it compliments them and how far they've taken the game in Canada. But I mean, at the same time, we're trying to make sure that we're kind of remembered and we get, we, uh, we kind of just get what we deserve if we continue to play our best in the next couple of weeks. And I wish you luck. And just uh, before, a couple things. But uh, as far as what you need to do uh, to win this weekend, obviously you have to play very well. Who are some of the other key, you know, key, key teammates and, and what you're really going to have to do as a team uh, to, to bring home a Wilson Cup and get to the Nationals? Um, well, we're playing against a lot. Of, all three teams are fairly athletic and they rebound really hard. So, I mean, defensively, we're going to have to be able to close out possessions versus them. That's probably our main priority, especially wins are our first game. They have some big guys. And offensively, I mean, we have so many weapons that anyone can go off on any night. And we've seen Caleb, Mike, they're playing great right now. Gab's a monster down low. I mean, we just have so many weapons that the ball, once the ball is flying around and everyone's getting involved and dangerous, then we're that much better, better as a team. Uh, and just before I let you go, uh, the House of Hoop hot seat. You're on it. I got to ask you some questions. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> your, your favorite sports movie? Wow. Um, that's why it's the hot seat, Johnny. Okay. Oh, that's tough. Um, I'll just say Coach Carter. It's the first thing I get in my All right. uh, The toughest player you ever faced? Wow. Um... I'd say Greg Carter. A place you would love to visit anywhere in the world? Um, I'd probably say Harry Trent. I haven't been back home in a while, so I miss my family back home. All right. Uh, your favorite athlete? Steph Curry. And the last one, the craziest teammate and why? Wow. <laughs> um, I might have to go with uh, Warren Ward, just some of the battles that we've had and I mean, he's an interesting character, but he's helped me get to where I am today, so I'm grateful for him. Oh, that's great. Well, hey, nothing but the best. Uh, you know, you're, you've had just such a stellar career. Uh, you know, got to admit that uh, I, I think, uh, you know, CIS Player of the Year, you got to be a, a definite candidate. So I know personally you've won some great awards, and I'm, I'm assuming that the national championship is that one thing missing. And I wish you the best of luck in its pursuits. And I really appreciate you joining me on the House of Hoop. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, guys. 
And that was Johnny Berhane from the University of Ottawa GGs. Uh, what a great story he is, great local product, and we're, we're going to listen for some big things this weekend down at Montpetit Hall when the GGs host the Wilson Cup.